Now, I love Soul Hackers. You guys know how much I adore that game. I made a whole video talking about my Soul Hackers collection. I made a tips video about how you guys can get through Soul Hackers. I've collected things over the years about Soul Hackers. Um, I just love that series to a T. Um, it's just weird now that when I saw a lot of talk about Soul Hackers 2 coming out, um, I was excited, but I was weary at the same time. I wasn't trying to let my hype overlevel my, I guess, my stability and thought process. Um, it's weird when you see like certain comments regarding the new Soul Hackers game. Like I think the most interesting one that I saw was, this game looks really really bad and it doesn't look good, but it's Atlas, so I'll still buy it. <laughs> I thought that was the strangest comment that I've ever seen because I think people that people have the wrong misconception about the Atlas that they fell in love with. I love Soul Hackers. I love the Soul Hackers that was made back in 1997. I don't think that that's the same Atlas that we have today. Um, a lot of people that fell in love with Atlas before, I think they fell in love with Atlas as a brand and not the directors who created the games they loved. Uh, and I think that is the issue that we're having now is personally when I saw the new Soul Hackers I automatically wrote it off I won't lie um, it's not a game that's made for me uh, I won't be buying the new Soul Hackers and it's not because I'm buying it out of vitriol or I'm buying it because I hate it I don't hate it I love the Soul Hackers that was created by the team that I fell in love with and it's obvious now that they are no longer a part of Atlas. Um, Atlas is a brand, it's a name. I'm not in love with Atlas. I'm in love with its original creators and I can tell that they're no longer there. The people who are there now seem to be somewhat like, uh, you know, your, your college grads or your interns. They seem to be writing all the stories now. And their stories aren't bad. I mean, personally, let's be honest, uh, Soul Hackers 2 looks like Tokyo Mirage Sessions and Persona. And you can tell that the guys who work there now enjoy Tokyo Mirage Sessions and Persona. <laughs> so it, it's not strange that games that we love that weren't Persona are being turned into Persona because that's what the guys who work there now enjoy. And I don't think this game should get hate though because it does look good it's just not made for me or it's not made for you know those players who chose Shin Megami Tensei over the Persona games over the Tokyo Mirage sessions and I mean I said this in my Shin Megami Tensei 5 video I said it in my Shin Megami Tensei 5 impressions and I said it in a video that I made um, a couple of weeks ago is that Shin Megami Tensei is going to lose its identity and and it is I mean Devil Summoner is now hitting that they I mean they took out the whole Devil Summoner they took out the whole Shin Megami Tensei and they just called it Soul Hackers um, and they said it was because they didn't because the title was just too long and I guess that's understandable but I, I knew that this was going to happen and I knew that the things that I enjoyed was going to lose its identity is because the times are changing um, it's changing to fit the current market landscape. That's just what it is. It's not there to please, you know, the players that fell in love with, you know, the games back then. Uh, that's just what it is. Um, and you know what? Personally, I'm fine with that. And the reason why I'm fine with that is because when this game comes out, if it makes money, it just paves the way for more RPGs to get made because the last thing I want is for more shooters that I'm never gonna buy to come out <laughs> you know so I, I, I'll, I'll gladly skip this game but I hope that everyone else who's going to enjoy the game enjoy it but 
it's not for me. So I will be skipping the game. I'm making this video because a lot of people kept asking me what I thought about Soul Hackers 2. And this is what I think. It looks good, it looks serviceable, but it's not for me. So I'm voting with my wallet.